Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do a what's in my daily photography bag 2023. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Now before we start, I want to let a disclaimer out. This is not my work bag, right? This is not the bag I take on shoots, so it doesn't have the gaffer tape, the microphones, the gear and all these things, but just the things I take on my daily commute or when I go work at a cafe or just want to go out and walk with friends. So with this out of the way, let's start with the first item. The first item is my Canon EOS RP. It's the camera I'm using to film myself right now, and it looks like this. This camera is very good at video, great at photos, and I use it right now to film myself coupled with a TT Artisan 15mm f2. This lens is cheap, great, now it's a manual lens, right, so it doesn't have autofocus, but it's a very good lens. It goes up to f2, and I'm using it right now at f2.8, and you can see Pretty good blurry of the field, it's very cool. Uh, I mainly use it for portraits or some street photography, and it took photos like this with it. Which is pretty cool. Now the other camera I use is my Fujifilm X100T. Now this camera is not the X100V, which is the fifth model, it's the third one, and it's kind of more of the same. It's basically a less polished X100V. It's very good. I like to use it when I go like family weekends and these things. I can just throw it anywhere. But also when my girlfriend comes and walks with me, she uses it to take photos too. And she took great photos like these. Now the next item is a bit different. It's a lens. It's a lens I don't always bring with me. But I sometimes have it with me if I don't want to use the 50, which is kind of my default. It's an EFS 18 to 200 that I converted to be compatible with my EOS RP thanks to a com light adapter, so it makes it that I can mount it on the RF mount that I have on my camera. Now I'm planning to upgrade to more prime lenses, probably gonna get a 35 millimeter with autofocus, which is good for what I do. If not, I'm probably gonna upgrade to a 24 to 70, which would get kind of a good range that I would have. It could be good for vlogging, good for portraits, good for whatever. Uh, but I didn't decide yet, right? So this is why I'm kind of keeping the gear bag, the shoot bag away for now and working on this video. Next item is something everybody should have. It's classic pen and paper. Now, I love typing. I love mechanical keyboards. I'm a click clack nerd and all these things. But there's something to be said about the tactile feeling of writing with a pen on the paper. You feel the ink going down through the fibers of the paper. Without nerding about it, it's just, you know, good to have pen and paper around to jot ideas, throw ideas, write numbers down, whatever you need, it's pretty good. Okay, so the next item on the list is something I can't live without. Uh, I've had it since last summer, and if you know me, I can't stand the noise keys make. It's loud, it's annoying, it's obnoxious, but you hear it everywhere. And so, I don't want to hear my own keys, and this is why I use the Orbit Key Key Organizer. This device is literally a piece of folded leather with a pin, but it makes my life 10 times better. You just put your keys in it, and it's kind of like a Swiss Army knife of keys. Very practical, very simple device. It has one purpose, but does it very well. I love it. Next item is my Belkin power bank. It's nothing too fancy. It's a 10,000 milliamp power bank. I use it to keep my device charged because I have battery anxiety, and uh, I don't like being disconnected. And also, for those of you who don't know, since I live in Lebanon, I can't really have electricity 24-7, so having a power bank with me is usually very useful and kind of required. Next item is my iPad Air 5th generation. Now, this machine is a workhorse. For those of you that don't know, I have an iMac, and since I live in Lebanon, again, I don't always have electricity. So having this as a laptop replacement is very good for me, especially since now there's DaVinci on it. So I can do my video editing, then move on to Safari, watch a few YouTube videos, then leave. Like, it's literally a laptop replacement with an iOS looking interface. Uh, it's very good. It's not as versatile as a MacBook, obviously. But it does the job done. I mean, I can literally open DaVinci Resolve on it, which is mind-blowing. It's very new and it's very cool. The next items are a bit more general, they're a bit boring, but there's something I like to go through. They're more interesting than saying I have a USB Type-C dongle in my bag. So first of all, we have my AirPods. It's not audiophile quality, it's nothing fancy, but they're convenient. 
you can just pop them in your ears whenever you want to listen to something and they're good for phone calls. Following that is my hard drive. This hard drive is a hard disk, so it's a bit slow. It's not an SSD. I'm gonna upgrade to an SSD soon. But for now, I use this drive not to work on, just as an archival. So it's just a, just a boring hard drive. Now the next item is pretty cool. Uh, I keep my Instax album, and that's funny because I don't keep my camera with me all the time, but I keep my Instax album with me all the time just to show photos to people. I love looking at my photos, showing them to people, giving them to people. And there's something to be said about just, you know, having your gallery, but paper gallery always with you. I really like it. It's just this Instax black leather album. It's black, it's made of leather, it's cool. So last but not least is the Peak Design Slide Light. Now this is just your average camera strap at first sight, right? It's very solid, it's made of seat bed material. And since it's a slide, you can make it like long, short, put your camera kind of like a messenger bag or just as a standard, you know, neck strap. But what makes Every Peak Design strap very cool is the fact that you can just attach and detach just like this. So it comes with lugs, right? You put these lugs on the sides of your camera and then you can pop it in just like that. You can pop it out just like... So let's say you're shooting something, you're like, yeah, whatever with the strap, but then there's a weird inconvenient angle, so you just untie it like this, you take your photo, put it back. Very cool, very, very cool. This is like pinnacle of things that typically would be annoying but then they're fixed by a very simple fix. It's very cool, it's very well executed. And that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and do all the YouTube things, whatever. Tell me in the comments down below what you'd like to see next, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.